So I'm with Jansaya Abdul Malik, Kazakhstan top female player here in the press center. You've just won your first game in the tournament. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling good, especially before the the free day. I think it's very important to to have free day and with a good mood. So yes. So you start off with uh, many draws, then you lost an unfortunate game against Dinara, but with today's win, you've, you're back to 50%. How are you focusing on the next five games after the free day? Any thoughts about that? Um, no, I'm just trying to relax, you know, because these first games were kind of tough for me. I don't know, this feeling of like, it's not easy to play. <laughs> yes, and didn't really went well for me. Also, after I lost to Jujinir, the Chinese girl, um, I thought that okay, I was slightly better, but and then I mean I, I missed some stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I'm just looking forward for the next games. Hopefully Let's talk about. Yeah. Sorry. Let's talk about today's game. So your opponent Shuvalova, she's not in her best form in this tournament. Many defeats. Was the choice of opening a very sharp opening um, thought of to try and get a very sharp game against her today? Um, no, actually, that's what I planned before the tournament. So we just decided to play it. OK, so you have a very interesting position with a very aggressive uh, bishop on b7, yes. although she did win a pawn in the opening. How are you assessing that position when she won the pawn, but you did have counterplay? Um, well, I, I don't think that this was the right move to play queen g6, because after queen g7, I, I think it's kind of complicated for me, because uh, I, I didn't get anything immediately. I mean, some compensation, but wasn't sure if it was the, the best move. I was calculating um, knight d5, and then some lines with uh, knight f3 or rook c1, and I, I couldn't understand, like, was it fine for me or not? So I played this queen g6. I said, like, okay, whatever, let's, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then, okay, I think she, instead of uh, bishop b4, I think there was a bishop e1 move. Mm -hmm. It's just to change the pieces, and mm -hmm. I think white is just better, just with pawn mm -hmm. up. Yeah. It's still a complicated position. I wanted to ask you about the the final, not the final position, but the final end game. So although the computer gives equality, you have the two bishops in an open position. Were you confident that you'd find some tactical sequence that would give you the win in that position? Well, I wasn't sure, but I, I mean, practically it's very hard to play for her. So like, uh, I thought, okay, I mean, I'll have many chances to try something, some yeah. tricks and I thought, like, okay, probably it's winning. Hmm. Do you feel extra pressure playing at home uh, in this type of tournament? And do you think that pressure will be less when you go out to play in the, um, in the legs outside of Kazakhstan? Or is it just one more tournament for you and it doesn't really matter where you play? Okay, um, I think it's, it's a bit of pressure for me. Yeah, because usually when I play in Kazakhstan, it, it, it's it's not going quite well for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I thought that maybe this tournament would be better. So we'll see. I mean, still five games to go and yeah. Well, you're near the lead now. At least you're closing the gap. And uh, free day tomorrow, what are you planning to do? I'll sleep, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, prepare for the next game. Just see my friends. Do, do, you, do you live in, in, uh, in I Astana? Live, I, I live in Almaty. Oh, so you don't have friends and family living here then? Yes, okay. correct. Okay, thank you very much for your interview. Thank you too. Thank you.